can we get a rip in the comments for the m4a1 and the mp5 if you guys love these guns go show your respects down in the comments below and just write r.i.p man i'm gonna miss these guns being as overpowered as they were dude the m4a1 and the mp5 were just nerfed like crazy and we're gonna talk about the nerf in just a second but guys it was a little update today within modern warfare that gives a few different things and one thing that's a little broken but it's funny at the same time it's not really huge or anything like that but i'm gonna talk about this entire update because it's mostly a playlist update and stuff like that within this video so guys let's get into it and rip to the m4a1 and the mp5 What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. Today we're going to be talking about some buffs and most importantly, the nerfs to those two weapons that I mentioned earlier. If we could get a like on this video, that would be amazing. We're going to go for straight up 1000 likes on this one. Guys, leave a comment down below letting me know if you like the MP5 or the M4A1 and if you're sad that they actually got nerfed and we're going to talk about that really soon here and there's a few other things I want to talk about as well. But before we do guys, smack that subscribe button with those notifications turned on and let's talk about the actual update today so if you opened up modern warfare you may have noticed that it says update requires restart and all that kind of stuff and there's a few people who have gone through the update and they get placed back onto the same screen so they update it and then they get put back onto update requires restart then they restart it and it says again update requires restart so some people can't log in it kind of sucks after admits like rip to you guys and all but um, there's a few things that I want to talk about this. Hopefully they get that fixed soon because that sucks for those people. But there's a new playlist update. There's Deathmatch Domination, which I'm assuming is Team Deathmatch and Domination put into the same thing. Then there's the new playlist, which is the Gunfight Variant that allows loadouts. I've always said this would be a great idea to throw into the game. You use whatever class you want to use in Gunfight and you can go off on people. So you can use an MP5 if you want, you can use a Sniper if you want. You're not limited to whatever, whatever they feel like setting you up with. And then there's also the shipment 24 7 and here's the funny little error that they put that I, I find is kind of funny so it says shipment 24 7 and then it says in the description all shoot house all shipment all the time or something like that like dude why would you even put shoot house in the description if it's only shipment 24 7 but let's talk about some of the things that uh that is here and that i kind of i kind of don't want to see so um they all they actually nerfed the crossbow already so the crossbow you were able to shoot down the enemy support helo with only three thermite bolts but they've actually fixed this now it takes five thermite or five regular bolts i'm not sure they didn't really clarify i'm guessing is five regular ones to take down the VTOL and it takes six to take down the support helo and chopper gunner so yeah it says right there support helo and chopper gunner that just means that it's a third of my bolts for sure so I'm guessing the crossbow is very easy to knock these out I know I saw a video online of someone using the crossbow up against some crazy juggernauts and stuff like that and they were dead pretty damn fast so they definitely did fix that and I'm happy that that is there because dude those things were very overpowered they also fixed an exploit on ground war via the ATV and stuff like that i'm not really sure they didn't go into details about what they fixed but there's probably ways to get out of the map using the atv and they went ahead and fixed that hopefully they did because every time they do some fix there's way more things broken in the game i find there's also a fix for a missing character model on the la optic team skin and stuff like that so that's pretty cool as well and shipment finally has some more spawn tuning to reduce the frequency of instant deaths and spawn traps so i don't know if that's good or bad because they already screwed up shipment like when it first came in they changed the map a very little which made it really bad for instant deaths and spawn traps and stuff like that and then they decided you know what let's make it 5v5 so they made it 5v5 and it was still very bad for instant deaths and spawn traps now they say that they adjusted it but i don't know how they could adjust it in such a way where you're not going to spawn anywhere all you need is five people on that map to spawn trap and once you got a full team spawn trapping people i don't see a way for them to get out so i don't know how they fix this i'm kind of like determined to go into matches and wait to see if i could actually get spawn trap but uh yeah they did apparently fix that now they did buff the m13 as well so there's a range increase on the M13, which is amazing because this gun, I've always loved it. It just doesn't feel that strong at range, but now you have further range with it, so I'm happy with that. There's also a small reduction to horizontal recoil, so that means that when you're shooting, your gun is not gonna be going as crazy left to right and stuff like that anymore. It's actually gonna be a lot more stable, so that's that's actually a buff right there. Even though it says small reduction, it's still a buff, thank God. And small damage increased to boost headshot effectiveness. So if you start shooting at the head, there's a small increase in damage 
damage, meaning that if this gun did take three bullets to shoot someone in the head and kill them, it probably now only takes two. And because of this right here, that little one right there, I have a huge feeling that this gun is going to be better than the M4A1 pretty soon. So the M4A1 and the MP5, guys, this is what you click the video for. These guns definitely got nerfed. Now, the M4A1 has a small damage increase to reduce headshot effectiveness. So the M4A1, guys, if you guys know this gun, you love this gun. It was so damn good. This gun did literal damage. It did 42 damage to the head. And they said there's a small reduction. So I'm guessing that the small reduction is down to a 40 damage to the head rather than a 42 which does make a huge difference because you're looking at other guns like the kilo 141 and the ram 7 they both do 42 damage to the head as well so i mean that kind of sucks if the the uh, m4a1 is now weaker than those two guns but then you also got a nether nerf on the m4a1 and it's not just the head shot shots it's a small range decrease as well and i was talking about this yesterday in my video when i made the three op classes for the m4a1 this gun is amazing at range and now they kind of nerfed it it says small but i'm pretty sure it's going to be significant enough that you're going to need an extra bullet to kill someone at those long range so I haven't tested any of this yet, but I'm definitely going to and I mean that just dude It sucks the, the m4a1 is a great gun and I don't want to see it nerfed But I, I see at the same time they kind of needed to do it But now my favorite weapon in the entire game is the mp5 and they reduced headshot multiplier So I'm guessing this one is really bad because the headshot multiplier on this gun It doesn't say small decrease or anything like that. It literally just says reduce headshot multiplier so the headshots with the mp5 that you were able to get in this game was 55 per headshot that means that it only takes two bullets to kill someone to the head but they must have reduced it significantly enough where it now takes three bullets to kill someone in the head so i'm guessing that the headshot multiplier is probably reduced down to around 45 or something like that they didn't say small they didn't clarify or anything but that's just a guess that i have that means that if they did that the pp19 bison the uzi and the aug are all better than the mp5 for headshots so that's that's kind of weird man because the mp5 was on par with those guns it was very good it was tied with those guns for those headshots and uh, they also did a small reduction to the 10 millimeter uh, the ammunition the mag the, they did a reduction to the range guys to the range the mp5 was able to laser people at a very long distance and if they actually did do a small reduction to that ammo which i have to say man if you never use that ammo you definitely had to have used it because right now it's nerfed and i i still think i'm gonna use it because I, I still use this gun up close but for the range i don't think it's gonna happen anymore i don't think this gun is gonna have that amazing range that it always had so that kind of sucks right there the m4a1 is probably reduced down to a 40 or a 30 head or 38 headshot damage per bullet and stuff like that which sucks it makes it weaker than a lot of the other assault rifles and then the mp5 if it's reduced anywhere below 50 there's a lot of guns that are already better than it just for headshots and stuff like that now luckily the damage reduction to the chest the, sh uh, the stomach and the limbs hasn't been reduced on either gun so they're still very very good guns to shoot in those ranges and the actual fire rate isn't nerfed as well so that's really good because they both have a very good fire rate now the thing is with all of these nerfs and stuff like that i just i'd rather see other weapons get buffed I wouldn't want to just see nerfs all the time because you get you start liking the gun and then it gets nerfed it kind of sucks but instead of doing that why don't they just buff the other guns to be on par with this gun right here like the m13 dude compared to the m4a1 the m13 does 24 damage to the chest stomach and limbs the m4a1 does 28 so it's already stronger right there but then the headshot damage the m13 only does 36 while the m4a1 does 42 damage per bullet so i would rather see the m13 get a buff maybe up to 26 damage per bullet to the chest stomach and limbs and then maybe a 40 to the head rather than 36 rather than seeing the m4 a1 get nerfed because like right now dude these guns the m4a1 is still the better choice to use if you're going for stomach limbs and chest shots and stuff like that so that's it guys uh hopefully in the future they buff other weapons instead of just nerfing all of these ones this is the small little playlist update that we got today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope i gave you guys enough information on such a small update but there was a lot of stuff that they updated on within this one so guys let me know if you love the m4a1 and the mp5 man we gotta have a funeral for these things because it's a huge rip to them subscribe to the channel if you're new around here with those notifications turned on and drop a like we're gonna go for a flat 1000 likes on this video if you could hit that that would be absolutely amazing all right guys my name is nick thank you guys for watching 
and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.